गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन टूडे आई प्राची अलावादी यूर सोशल साइंस टीचर आई एम गोनो एक्सप्लेन द नेक्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ सिविक्स दैट इज चैप्टर नंबर सिक्स अंडरस्टैंडिंग मीडिया इन दिस चैप्टर वी विल बी स्टडिंग अबाउट द मीनिंग ऑफ मीडिया सेकेंडली टू अंडरस्टैंड द डिफरेंट फॉर्म्स ऑफ मीडिया The next aim of this chapter is to be familiar with the sources through which media earns money and last but not the least to know about the role of media in the democracy newspaper radio tv magazine internet films letters posters emails public meetings etc are the common means of communication some of these are meant for personal use while others are used for communicating with the masses collectively they are termed as media everything ranging from a public meeting to the programs you watch on tv is termed as media while letters emails and internet are means of personal communication whereas newspapers magazines tv radio and films are means of mass communication as they reach a large audience the term mass media is used for the me- these means of public communications now different media and the technology they use over the years the technology changed and print media became the new means of communication The printing press marked the beginning of a revolution in the way the world received printed information. However, printing books was quite expensive at a time. Hence, printed material could not be used as a mass media for a couple of centuries. Newspapers were also introduced, but they became easily available to the masses only in the 19th century. In the last 20 years we have seen further technological growth in electronic media internet and cable tv are the new buzzwords which have reached a large number of people and are still growing this naming is related to the different technologies that these media use there are certain benefits also of using this technology Firstly changing technology or machines and making technology more modern helps media to reach more people secondly it also improves the quality of sound and the images that we see on tv or hear on the radio next it also changes the way in which we think about our lives today we cannot imagine a life without tv mobile phones and internet these have enabled us to think of ourselves as the member of the global world telephones have shortened the distance across the world the tv and internet while using use satellite and cable technology have helped to bring images from across the globe to our house one can view a number of channels which are aired from different countries there are so many benefits and our lives have changed day by day so we will be continuing with the next topic of this chapter in the next video till then bye bye have a nice day